Saskatchewan Rattlers are the champions in the inaugural season in the Canadian Elite Basketball League. The Saskatchewan Rattlers are getting ready for their fourth season of play in the Canadian Elite Basketball League, but they will have a new man at the helm leading the charge. New head coach Dean Demopoulos has just been hired to lead the Snakes into the 2022 season. Uh, Dean joins me today from uh, just outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dean, thanks for taking a few minutes to chat and, and look ahead. This is a brand new announcement, so we're you're, I know you're still kind of figuring out what it all means, but... Uh, uh, as as we get set to, to turn the reins of this team over to you, you have a ton of experience coached at the college level as an assistant, coached professionally as a, as a head coach in Australia and the G League. Uh, what drew you to this job? This is going to be a learning experience. This is all pretty brand new for me. I'm really excited. Um, gives me an opportunity selfishly to work on my craft, and, uh, which I enjoy doing. Uh, quite a lot so it's great opportunity for me uh, I'm new at it don't know a bunch about it yet but I'm uh, I'm in the process of trying Absolutely. Well, we'll be uh, we'll be throwing you in uh, kind of head first in a couple of months <laughs> down the road. Uh, you do have experience with leagues that are that are maybe similar in somewhat uh, in some ways, uh, especially when you look at your head coaching experience in Australia. I'm guessing there there might be uh, some similarities with the CBL, which is probably a, a fair bit different than coaching, being an assistant at the NBA level or being a, mm -hmm. a head or assistant coach at NCAA. The, the, these types of leagues, there, uh, there's a fair bit of difference. No, no fool, it really is. Uh, every, every situation's different. Your league looks like a little bit of a sprint to me, cause it's a short amount of time. And getting off to a good start is really important, um, having a good training camp. And that's important everywhere, uh, obviously. But, you know, uh, putting your team together and getting as much talent as you can. Uh, and, of course, Canadian talent is very important sure. in the makeup of everything. And then, you know, I'm with, I'm with Barry, who's a great, really a fine basketball coach yeah. and been around the game a long time. And not just been around it, but but highly, highly successful. That's fantastic. Yeah, Barry Rollick, the, the general manager of the Rattlers, Brad Kraft, uh, the team president. I know they're already hard at work on, on building this team. Uh, it's going to be a team that's probably going to look a fair bit different than it did the last season. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I'm the play-by-play -play guy for the Rattlers, so I have a vested interest in what this is going to look like. Uh, for you, how hands-on are you going to be in terms of building that roster? Because I know you're obviously busy with with other commitments, uh, do, do you hope to uh, to have a, a, a big hand in, in picking who's going to make up the team this year? Oh, it's going to be a collaborative thing. And and I'll, I'll be all eyes and ears for the most part, especially early in the process. Um, but I, tr I trust my eyes, always have. I've been, you know, uh, at Temple University, we... I did a lot of the evaluating for the better part of two decades. And and you make your mistakes in that, but it's the key to uh, successful coaching and teaching is the product you start with and the, uh, and the right, uh, you know, the right type of guys, guys who want to be on time and want to play hard when they're told to, which is when you practice and when, and when you play games. And, you know, they're probably the only two rules I, I have, really. You be on time and play hard when I tell you to. We'll be pretty good. And you mentioned it a, a couple of minutes ago. Uh, there, there's a big emphasis on Canadian talent in this league. Uh, have you seen it from the States? I mean, it seems like in, in recent years, the game has really exploded here in Canada, not just with the Raptors, but the level of talent. Every year, there's guys going in the first round of the draft. It's uh, it's it's kind of amazing to watch. What's it, what, what's it been like from your perspective to see the the growth of of Canadians in the sport? I just like talented basketball players. I don't care where they're from. 
really talented people that are driven to be as good as they can be at what they want to do. Jay and seem to be making the most of their opportunities. And that that's a good thing. It's always been a, I don't even want to, uh, earnest, earnest country from outside looking in a, a bunch of self-starting people that want to excel at things. And uh, it's always been that way looking at it from, from uh, wherever I've been, whether that's rightly or wrongly, it seems that way. Excellent. Yeah. And the, the league itself has grown dramatically over, over its four year history and hopefully will continue to do so uh, as, as we move forward, there's expansion. Uh, it's, it's mm. a bright future, I hope for the CEBL and Saskatchewan Rattlers uh, as, as you get ready to take them over, uh, hope uh, w- wish you tr- safe travels as you are clearly on the road right now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, can't wait to see you here in Saskatoon and, and looking forward to the season getting going in May. Thanks, Simon. I'm looking forward to it, too. See you soon.